we're doing, everybody. This evening we're going to be taking apart the failed power transfer unit, or PTU, or transfer case. Came out of my 06 Ford Escape Hybrid 2.3. Uh, but yeah, just over two weeks ago, I was driving on my way home and uh, started sounding like a uh, ice crusher or a cement mixer. Uh, I kind of had the feeling that it was going because a while before uh, it was making some funny noises and a buddy of mine and I we checked it out and we ruled out all of the usual suspects. Uh, we ruled out like bad wheel bearings, we ruled out um, you know, CVs, we ruled out you know a, a rock in the uh, brake rotor, dust shield. So, so uh, finally came to the conclusion that it was PTU. Now, PTU is a very common failure on four all wheel drive vehicles. Um, now, the reason that it fails is because uh, Ford really don't, they don't make a mention of servicing it in your owner's manual or in the maintenance manual. Okay. Supposedly lifetime fluid, but it only holds uh, 12 ounces of 75 140. So, what happens is the heat from the engine and the catalytic converter, they're so close to this thing that it cooks the lube and uh, you know, the person doesn't know how to service it. So, uh, once the uh, lube and the PTU is cooked, it's just a matter of time before it fails. So now, one thing I've noticed on mine, too, that was an indication of failure was a really strong, nasty, burnt gear oil smell around the front of the vehicle as well. And so now, when I had my uh, the local garage put it in for me, he did also notice that, he did also find that the vent tube was uh, locked, so there was a lot of pressure in it, pushing the uh, lube out of the seals. And also, uh, not sure how well you can see it, but uh, I'll bring the camera closer after uh, we get this thing opened up and just pop the cover back on. But uh, there actually is a breach in the case there. So, I'm going to flip this thing over. And uh, it weighs about 50 pounds. And uh, I'm going to open this thing up and see what we find on the inside. Now, I do want to let you know that I actually have opened this thing up already and it's not very pretty inside. So, this is kind of I'm watching like uh, Ford Tech Make You Loco and um, the other Ford guys on YouTube. This is basically what the PTU do look like on the inside when they fail. So let's get the uh, cover bolts out and uh, pop the cover off. Alrighty, we're going to continue where we left off. We're going to pull the cover bolts off and uh, pop the cover off. Um, the reason I stopped filming there is I got a scam phone call. starting to smell the nasty burnt gear lube inside of it. Just gonna grab a hammer here to pop the cover off. Stinking up the entire shop now. <laughs> and we really don't have to be too careful because this thing is scrap. 
But you can see on the cover, nasty gear lube. It's mixed with metal filings. And uh, there are some gear chunks floating around. But you see, this thing is toast. Which is why it was replaced. Um, I'm just going to wipe my hands off and uh, take the phone out of my tripod. I can show you what we have inside here. Hands are clean enough now to grab my phone. Let's see that all of these bearings are are very gritty. There's a lot of wear on all the bearing rollers. And you can see how loose the bearing on that gear is. So that's mint. We just grease that up, put it back in. And uh, we'll actually pull this gear out here. You can see that we're uh, missing some teeth off the gear. And uh, so yesterday when I pulled, the other day when I pulled it apart, um, I did find some gear chunks floating around in it. This thing actually was so bad that the other day when I went to go bring it up to the shop, I actually couldn't even back out of my driveway because it would lock up in reverse. But, uh, yeah, this thing is uh, totally fucked. Uh, sorry for the language, but really no other word to describe it, but... It's uh, it's it's done. Um, the pinion gear that's toast. These gears are toast. This gear is toast. So this thing um, is just uh, it's gonna be time to stick a fork in it because it's done. So I figured I would just give you guys the what the inside give you guys a look of what the inside of the PTU that came out of my Escape Hybrid looked like, or looks like. And uh, as far as for a replacement unit, I did some uh, shopping around. A brand new one from Ford, depending on my build date. It was anywhere from like three grand to 3,500 for a brand new unit. Could have gotten a used one from a junkyard for about 300 bucks with 81,000 miles on it, but the thing is, is with that unit, I could be facing this on the inside. And so what I actually did was I bought a reman one from the gear shop in Maryland. I'll put a link to their uh, website in the description. Now, they're not paying me for anything, or they're not paying me anything to say their name or anything like that, but uh, just had a really good experience with them. So the Reman PTU from the gear shop was 770 to my door, and installation at the local garage was about 350 So, you know, just, you know, just about a grand for everything, but uh, that... Uh, Reman PTU comes with a comes with an 18 month unlimited mileage warranty as long as you get the old one back to them within a month so when this video is over here I'm gonna be packing this thing up or you know put cover back on it toss it in a contractor bag toss it in the box that it came from and on Monday I will bring it uh, to the UPS store have them ship it out and uh, as far as for what I'm running for lube and the new one or the Reman one is I'm running Royal Purple Max Gear 75140 
and I'm gonna be uh, changing it probably every once a year so again this is uh, the inside of a failed PTU on a 2006 Ford Escape Hybrid 2.3 liter and uh, thanks for watching bye now I have to figure out how to Stop filming without getting my phone all greasy.